the further you go, the slightly louder it gets, but it never seems to get any closer. Your vision will become more static-like as you walk down the hall. Old advertisements from around the 1930s can be heard through the static noise. After some time, your vision becomes completely black and white with static. You will begin to see people in old business suits, although their human features are not visible. The only thing visible is their clothing. You may also hear the chatter of many people over the sounds previously mentioned. Almond water bottles can be seen on the floor during this event, dripping from the ceiling. The wanderers that make it this far have always turned back at this point, and when they do, they end up talking about an unknown entity that they simply call Nutrisha. Level negative one is relatively one of the smallest levels in the back rooms, as it seems to consist only of an endless hallway. Bases and communities. There are no known bases, outposts or communities on this level. Exits. To exit into one of the many doors to enter level negative two, level zero, level two and a level called the Whiteout, which we'll talk about in a moment. It is recommended to enter the level you desire once the door is found, as walking through this level's hallway has unknown consequences. More level entrances are rumored to exist beyond this point, but this is not certain. You cannot access level 1 from here, and it is strongly advised to never go to level negative 2. From this level, it is very easy to slip into level negative 2, which is very dangerous. The Whiteout The Whiteout is an enigmatic level located in the back rooms. First of all, what is an enigmatic level? The enigmatic levels are areas which do not have an ordinal placement and are very mysterious. These levels have stranger properties than most and have been given unique names and or numbers. The negative levels are also considered enigmatic. The whiteout is an area that can be reached through one of the doors in level negative one. The level resembles a white house that seems to be under renovation. That is, stores and various other items of construction can be found through its rooms. People who enter the white out report being blinded upon entrance, as the windows within said level are constantly flooded with a bright and undiscernible light. Due to the repetitive nature of the white out, it's very easy to get lost, and you may forget the way you came from. It's recommended to keep track of your movements and stay in the whiteout for limited amounts of time. Be aware that the doors leading back to level negative one will randomly disappear after a set time, which will leave you permanently trapped in this level. There are no known entities here and effects on hunger and aging are mostly normal. Long-term exposure to the level may result in sleep deprivation due to the blinding lights of the level. However, this is considered a mild annoyance at worst. The survival difficulty is a class zero. It's safe, secure, devoid of entities. While no actual entities roam this level, one mysterious man has been seen manipulating the whiteout in a somewhat supernatural way. The man has been known to communicate, and those who claim to have spoken to him have said he calls himself the Maker. The Maker wears a white suit, sometimes with or without a coat, and sometimes with a hat as well. Although witnesses have said that he has a face, 
Possibly the same area described. 